Hi everyone this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to another video on solid state and welcome to my channel chemistry tutorials and this is the last part of the 10 part series of videos on solid state we have covered a lot of ground we talked about the concept of unit cells we talked about unit cells themselves the seven shapes that they exist in we talked about the pattern of arrangement in every given shape we talked about a uh, cubic unit cell in particular then we talked about the packing fraction of each of those unit cells we talked about the layer arrangement view of various various types of unit cells we talked about voids we talked about radius ratios and right now we are at part 10 of 10 the last part in which we are going to talk about crystal defects now in crystal defects there are two types basically one is when the crystal is made up of neutral species like atoms or molecules remember if a crystal is made up of molecules if a solid is made up of molecules we will treat the entire molecule like a hard sphere and atoms of course already treated like hard spheres so the first thing that we're going to look at is what happens when in a crystal or in a solid the things that make up that solid are atoms or molecules so i'll talk about lattice of atoms now all possible defects that one can think of can happen in crystal defects for example the first one is called vacancy and i think the name itself suggests to you what actually it implies vacancy means an atom would leave its position and an atom is missing so an atom is missing from its position and obviously this would decrease two things it will decrease the density it will also decrease the percentage occupancy now the percentage occupancy is the number of atoms present upon the number of atoms that should have been present without any defect into 100 so you can also calculate the percentage occupancy as the observed density upon theoretical density into 100 the theoretical density being calculated as the density without any defect so that is one kind of a defect that is possible the second is self interstitial and again the name itself tells you what it means it means an atom itself would change its position from where it is supposed to be to an interstitial space but when it does that please remember its percentage occupancy remains the same that means whatever part of it was inside the 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 particular uh, cube or a particular shape that would remain the same so it is also possible that two atoms may do this one may come in a little bit more one may go out an equal amount of more and therefore what would happen is that the percentage occupancy remains the same so an atom or atoms leave its position its lattice site and occupies an interstitial space interstitial space are the voids now density and the percentage occupancy do not change now the another possibility is substitutional impurity again the name tells you everything wherever an atom is supposed to be there instead of that atom a foreign atom is present so a foreign atom substitutes a host atom and occupies its lattice now the percentage occupancy and the density would definitely change unless and until the foreign atom or the foreign molecule has the same molecular mass or atomic mass as the atom that leaves it and the last one is the interstitial impurity and excuse me for this this is not c it is d is the fourth type interstitial impurity which basically means that a new atom comes in and occupies the interstitial space so a foreign atom occupies the interstitial space the density and the percentage occupancy will definitely increase in this case now let's talk about defects in the case of ionic structures so we talk about ionic structures now now in ionic structures you have very very similar ones as uh, the ones that you saw in the case of atoms only thing is the names are different first is the short key defect now remember this is again the missing thing okay this is equivalent to the vacancy only thing is a cation anion pair is missing again when i say pair what i mean to say is that that is assuming the charge is equal if the charges are not equal then appropriate amount of cation and anion pair are missing electron neutrality is maintained so if, if if the charges are different then that much amount of cation would move and anion would move so that the electron neutrality is maintained and density definitely decreases in this case because atoms and uh, ions are missing in this the second is called the frenkel defect 
In the Frenkel defect, an ion leaves its lattice position and occupies interstitial space. This is equal to self-interstitial. So an ion leaves lattice position and occupies interstitial space. The amount of space it leaves and occupies will always be same. Electro neutrality is maintained and so is density. Then comes substitutional impurity defect. Now again, something replaces something. This is very similar to substitutional impurity. And that's what the name also says, substitutional impurity defect. For example, in most of the cases, whenever barium is coming out in the form of a crystal, some amount of strontium is always there and vice versa. So sometimes in a strontium crystal, barium replaces and in barium crystal, strontium replaces. Now, electro neutrality is maintained because the charges are same, but the density will definitely change. The next is called interstitial impurity. Obviously, something else and comes and occupies the interstitial position. For example, hydrogen is trapped in a titanium carbide. So, in a titanium carbide structure, hydrogen gets trapped in the voids. The density definitely increases, electro neutrality remains the same. And the last of the defects in ionic structures is called the F center defect. In the F center defect, an electron will replace an anion. And if there are two anions going, then two electrons would come and occupy that. So that way, electron neutrality is maintained. Density will decrease because anions are being replaced by electrons. Color is imparted because electrons are replacing them and electrons can always get excited. They can absorb a certain amount of energy and come back to the lower level. And therefore, color would be imparted in such a situation. That is the end of defects. It's a very short video. That is the end of the last part of solid state. I hope you enjoyed and understood all the parts of solid state. I would recommend you to watch all the parts from 1 to 10. In fact, I'm going to put a link of all the 10 videos in all the videos so that you can go to any particular video of your choice. I'm also going to describe what each video contains. And um, I hope these videos helped you understand the lesson solid state. If you have any questions, queries, doubts, any problems that you have, please drop them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already as your encouragement really helps me make more and more videos and better videos. And if you like this video, please do hit the like button too. This is Kalyan Kumar signing off. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. Thank you.